Welcome back to the Scout Academy. Joining me today is Kevin Loraff from the Missouri Department of Conservation to talk about periwinkle. Well, good morning. I'm here with another invasive plant here at Runge Nature Center, and this plant is called periwinkle. It's this plant in front of me, and you can see that it forms a dense mat, and it spreads vegetatively by, by sending out these, these runners and then putting down more roots and sending out another runner and, and growing like that. Uh, it's an invasive plant that escaped from cultivation. It's used as a ground cover in people's gardens and yards and horticultural landscapes. When it gets into a natural landscape, it can wreak havoc by taking over, forming dense mats and excluding native plants. Another native plant that looks a lot like periwinkle is winter creeper. And it, you can see if I put them right next to each other, it's real hard to tell apart. But if you look and uh, take a close look, you'll see that winter creeper has more strong, strongly, uh, you can see the veins a lot more, and the edges of the leaf are serrated, like a saw edge. Winter creeper also is escaped from cultivation. Uh, and it also forms dense mats like this, um, but it's more likely to climb trees. The flowers of winter creeper are very small, white, and the flowers of periwinkle are blue and a little more showy. But it's good to know the difference and to identify different plants, but as far as eradicating invasive species, it really doesn't matter as far as these two plants goes because they're both um, escaped from cultivation and they're both invasive exotic plants that we want to get rid of on our landscape. 